world, it's Jenna. Um, I just wanted to take time to talk to you guys today about my views on uh, Christianity and people who use the Bible in arguments. Like, okay, for one, the Bible was not written in our time period. Duh. It was written in a time period that if we still lived in, we'd all have well, not all of us, but there'd still be slaves. Women are basically servants to men. And I don't know about you other girls out there, but I'm not the girl who's going to be a cute, docile housewife. I'm the kind of girl that's a spitfire going to go out and take on the world. You know, and it just, it annoys the utter crap out of me. Because, you know, how do we know that these men of God didn't misinterpret what he was saying when they were, you know, writing the Bible? In one of the scriptures, it literally quotes God saying as, Your words are not my words, and your thoughts are not my thoughts. You know, times change. That's really all there is to it. And you can't go back and use a book written how many decades ago in a time that we are not living in. If we were still living in that time, yeah, okay, that book would be a great reference manual for everything. Really, what the Bible was written for was to be a guide. A guide for how... Christians should live, okay? I'm so sick of hardcore Bible-thumping Christians. I'm tired of you guys. I used to be one of them. I used to be. Okay? But just listening to how cruel some of these people are to others, I never once recall reading in the Bible a time when God was cruel, when Jesus was cruel to anyone. He was forgiving. Apparently, you guys missed the whole lesson on the forgiveness part. God doesn't hold anything against anyone in the world. If you ask for forgiveness and sincerely ask, it's done. God and you are good. Great to go. But you, people keep holding it against you. It's like they don't understand the concept of forgiveness. And they don't understand the concept that not everyone is going to like getting God thrown into their face. You know, we all live a different life. We all can't be the same person. God created us differently. He did it for a reason. I mean, in arguments when people say, well, God said this, and God said that, and I'm like, if I killed, like, ten people, and you asked me why, and I said it was because God told me to, because it was for the greater good, because it's a righteous thing to do, people wouldn't, be, people wouldn't think God actually told me to do it. They'd be like, that, that chick's crazy in the head. She doesn't know what she's doing. She's making up, lock that her girl over there, right here, yeah, lock her in a loony bin. She can't be out on the road, out on the streets walking. She's crazy. That's how dumb you sound. When you're like, well, God said this. I want to be like, you sound like a moron. You don't know what God said. You weren't there. If you were there, I want to see a documentation of sorts. Or I want you to time travel me back so you can point out when God exactly said that. We don't know what God said. We know what the disciples claim he said. We know what the disciples witnessed. People are so 
I think, just stuck in the old ways. Our world is changing, with or without you. So either get on the bandwagon of moving forward, or stay stuck in your time zone. But if you're going to be stuck, don't try and hold others back with you. Keep your Bible crap to yourself. Because unless people want to hear it, they, you know, will probably vocalize wanting to hear it. If they don't, maybe you should get out of their faces before I'm put before someone punches you in yours. That's just my thought. Much love. I will see you guys next time when I probably have another angry rant. Love you.